So you're gonna start at the, between the red and the white. Yep. There we go. You're gonna take a couple steps in as if you're checking, bounce it back. You're gonna pick either side right now. Yes, yeah, so you can go through the white or the red. Yep, all the way out, you're gonna ask for it. And your job is to try to actually come back into this box before you hit it. Yep, and then you'll strike. Yep, so yes, the idea is in the corners, but a big thing that we do a lot after we've checked in, we've bounced it, we get wide, is we don't think about after. We sometimes, if that ball comes across, because I do this myself, we take away our angle of the frame. Instead of taking the space that we have, making the frame bigger. Because I've had to do this a number of times where I take a kid, I'm like, your chance is here compared to here. The goal is so, this goal is so much smaller now compared to out here. You have way more to hit. So we're gonna start getting back into the habit of once we've gotten wide, can we get our touch back and hit? Because we just worked on that approach from the side. Yeah, same thing here as you touch in. And then you're placing just from the middle of the frame. Yep. But you can pick either side. You can go red or white, forget the colors right now. They don't mean a thing. Bounce in, bounce out, touch in. There we go. Good hit. <laughs> All right, good finish. Touch in, yes, good, very good. All right, we'll grab them and then we're gonna make a game out of this. We'll just do it one time through, but it's the same check, it's the same runs, but as that ball comes in and I go for the bounce, you decide if I'm going red or white, okay? Because we need to start getting in the habit of giving directions. Not just playing a pass and be like, you got it, dude, figure it out. Where's the space? She's talking to me. Yep. So whenever I check it, and you guys can say it in Icelandic, it doesn't bother. I'll check in. You're going to give me a color, red. Still the same touch, still the same hit. But you're deciding. But the idea is, is when you're giving that pass into someone, you're telling them where to go. You're directing the traffic. Too many times we're not doing that. We need to have more of it, yeah? <laughs> there you go! You guys are so nice to each other. It's going red. <laughs> we'll do that then okay so balls need to be at the post the one goal yep and the idea in this very very small box yeah because so the balls balls are going to be on the post get your partner of two pick a teammate doesn't matter okay so emma i need you on this side with a couple all these you'll be on this side with a couple Here's how this is gonna work, the box drill. One person starts in the box, okay? Only one of you serves first. So let's say Emma's gonna go first. You serve to me. It just wait, just wait. Serve to me, yep. I have one touch to keep it in this box. The idea is not to let it stop though. If it stops, it's dead. Because it's if it stops like this, game over. Roll it back, next one's in, okay? But, yep, so then, she, uh, it can be on the ground to start. On the next round, we'll, you guys can change it. But we're just gonna get the rhythm first. So you go ahead and play me again. So I have one to keep and one to hit. If it's down the middle, no point. It has to go to the corners, okay? But if I hit it on frame at all, I'll stay another round. If I hit it in the frame, I get to go again. So then all these, you'll serve me. But if I take my touch, and I hit it over, you're in. And the next ball's already coming. Does that make sense? But if she comes in and shoots over, now you're in again. We're gonna go for one minute and then we're switching teams. So you guys are gonna try and get as many as you can in one minute. 
Yeah, if it's on frame, you keep going. Good hit. Next one. Yeah, play it anyways. Good fix. It's over. For that one, we'll go one more. And freeze there. We're gonna switch again, but this time the server, you can make it difficult. You can serve it in the air. You can serve it bouncing on the ground however you want to but it has to hit in the box. If that service doesn't come in the box, they get a point. Automatically rewarded a point, and then you guys are still staying in. So if, that, so if I'm in the box, and let's just say Emma serves it, whoosh, gone. Point for me, and I go again for the next one. Does that make sense? Okay? We'll make it easy. If, hey, to keep the rotation going now, because normally, like, we'll keep it one ball per person, but since we have two, we've made it a bit different. If you hit it down the middle or you hit the frame, like the actual post or crossbar, switch. Only if you score a goal do you stay again. So the rotation will be faster. So if that ball comes in to so go ahead and serve, I have one touch to keep it in this box and hit. Yep, but if I take my touch and it lands here, dead. Next one. All right, next one in. I'm gonna back this box up just a bit. Good hit! Got six. Oh, we got 30 seconds. Way to get it off. Ah. Good fix. Way to control it, yep. Ah, uh, it's a good freeze there. Good hit. Grab him, we're switching. And serve again, serve again. Good fix. Good fix. There you go. That's a point. Yep. Gotta be playable. Next. No goal. It left the box. We'll go two more. What'd you guys have? You have 10, they had eight. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm gonna count them later. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch it back, we'll watch it back and decide. <laughs>